Hello, good morning viewers. Let us play with numbers. We are given a question here that reads, if 0, 5, 12, 21 and so on is a quadratic sequence, we are asked to determine the quadratic function used to form this sequence. Okay, the first thing we need to do here is to confirm whether this sequence is meant for quadratic. And to do that, we are going to take the first and the second difference of this quadratic sequence and determine the second difference if it contains a constant common difference then we say it is quadratic all right let's begin okay here is the sequence we are going to take the first difference from 0 to 5 we need to add 5 from 5 to 12 we need to add 7 from 12 to 21 we need to add 9 this is our first difference Second difference, from 5 to 7, we need to add 2. From 7 to 9, we need to add 2. You can see that in the second difference, we have a constant common difference of 1. Therefore, this sequence is quadratic. All right, since it is quadratic, let us begin with the solution. You know, generally, the quadratic polynomial is given as ax squared plus b x plus c first of all let us determine the value of a the value of a is 2 divided by 2 that is the second difference divided by 2 because the second difference are all the same we pick 1 and divide it by 2 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 therefore a is equal to 1 and we are going to substitute it into the first term and form another sequence so we have 1x squared, which is the same thing as x squared. So we are going to form another sequence here, substituting the values of x equal to 1, 2, 3, and 4, because we have 4 times here. So when x equal to 1, we have 1 squared equal to 1, 2 squared equal to 4, 3 squared equal to 9, 4 squared equal to 16, and so on. All right. Now what we are going to do next is to determine the difference between this sequence formed and initial sequence. From 1, if you want to get to 0, you need to subtract 1. So we form another one which is minus 1. From 4, if you want to get to 5, you add 1. So we have 1 here. From 9, if you want to get to 12, you have to add 3. So we have 3 here. And lastly, from 16, if you want to get to 21, you have to add 5. So the last time here we have is 5. All right, this is the new sequence formed. All right, now we are going to take the difference as well. From negative 1 to 1, we need to add 2. From 1 to 3, we need to add 2. From 3 to 5, we need to also add 2. So you can see we have constant common difference as well. Therefore, this 2 is said to be the coefficient of our middle term, which is x. So we have 2x. Remember, we have x squared. Now we have obtained 2x. All we need to find next is the constant term. Now we are going to form another sequence here, substituting the values of x equal to 1 to 4. When x equal to 1, we have 2. When x equal to 2, we have 4. When x equal to 3, we have 6. When x equal to 4, we have 8. So finally, to find our constant, we need to take the difference of this new sequence from this sequence right here. From this positive 2, if you want to get to negative 1, you have to subtract 3 because 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So we have negative 3. From 4, if you want to get to 1, you have to subtract 3 again. Minus 3. From 6, if you want to get to 3, you have to subtract 3 again because 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. And lastly, from 8, to 5 you need to subtract 3 you can see we have a constant common difference 
And our constant is said to be one of these terms, negative 3. So now our quadratic function will be x squared plus 2x, then minus 3. Our quadratic function equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3. This is just the solution to this problem. But let us confirm whether this quadratic function is really meant for this sequence, the original sequence we have here. So let's substitute the values of x equal to 1, 2, 3, and 4. We have f of 1. We substitute the value of x equal to 1. This is 1 squared plus 2 multiplied by 1, then minus 3. 1 squared is 1 plus 2 times 1 is 2, then minus 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. So we have f of 1 equal to 0. f of 2, we have 2 squared plus 2 multiplied by 2, substituting the values of x equal to 2, minus 3. Okay, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, plus 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, minus 3. 4 plus 4 is 8, and 8 minus 3 is 5. So we have 5 here. Then f of 3, when x equal to 3, we have 3 squared plus 2 multiplied by 3, then minus 3. 3 squared is 9, plus 2 times 3 is 6, then minus 3. 9 plus 6 is 15, then 15 minus 3 is equal to 12. So f of 3 equal to 12. Then the last one, f of 4, we have 4 squared plus 2 multiplied by 4, then minus 3. 4 squared is 16, plus 2 multiplied by 4 is 8, then minus 3. 16 plus 8 is 24, then 24 minus 3 is 21. So f of 4 is equal to 21. So let me bring all the terms together. We have 0, 5, 12, and 21. 0, 5, 12, and 21. We have other terms. 0, 5, 12, and 21 is exactly equal to our original sequence. 0, 5, 12, and 21. And therefore, this quadratic function x squared plus 2x minus 3 is said to be the quadratic function used to form that sequence. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.